सब मेरा जीरो ओवर प्रस्ताव बहुत ही गंभीर विषय को लेकर है और सैनिक बलों को लेकर है तो मैं उम्मीद करता हूं हमारे विपक्षी दल सर देश के सैनिक बलों को लेकर है ऑनरेबल मेंबर प्लीज चेक योर सीट प्लीज चेक योर सीट प्लीज चेक योर सीट प्लीज चेक Please take your seat and make your point one by one. Honourable members, I have received one notice from Sri Pramod Tiwari under Rule 267, seeking suspension of listed business for today to discuss the issue of Chinese aggression into the Indian territory. Honourable members. During this session, on several occasions, I have indicated the parameters of admissibility of notice under Rule 267. The notice is not in order. I am constrained not to accept it. Shri Pramod Tiwari to raise his point of order. Sir, ruling and observation from the chair, 1952 to 2017, पूरी भारी पड़ी है. Rules भी बड़ा. What is the point first? Then come to the premise. Sir, सदन के बाहर कोई बात कही जाए, खास तौर से पार्लियामेंटी पार्टी की मीटिंग में हमारी चेयरपर्सन श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी द्वारा उसका उल्लेख और संज्ञान किसी भी संवैधानिक पद पर बैठकर लेना कहीं से भी उचित नहीं है दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और उसका तत्काल खंडन होना चाहिए ये हमारी पार्लियामेंट्री पार्टी में क्या हो रहा है हम क्या बोले हैं अगर उसका संज्ञान आपकी पीठ पर बैठकर लिया जाएगा और वो आज सारे समाचार पत्रों में छपेगा तो एक गलत संदेश जाएगा और मेरा पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर यह है कि किसी पॉइंट ऑफ द रूल पॉइंट ऑफ द रूल मैं कहता हूं देर आर कम टेंडेबल मेंबर आई हैव टेकन नोट ऑफ इट मिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी आई आई एम कंसर्न बाय योर सेंटीमेंट्स प्लीज इंडिकेट द रूल अंडर व्हिच यू आर रेजिंग अ पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर ठीक प्लीज गिव मी टाइम गिव मी टाइम इट्स अ इट्स अ मैटर ऑन व्हिच वी नीड टू रिफ्लेक्ट ठीक है ठीक है सर थैंक यू वेरी मच आई टेक एज सीरियस रिस्पेक्टेबल व्यू ऑफ दिस एज इज इन योर माइंड so please indicate with clarity what is your point of order theek hai dhanyawad aapke main sirf ek vinamrata purvak aapse kehna chahta hu adarni pradhan mantri ji ne please sadan ke bahar observe silence sadan ke bahar jo kuch kaha tha us pe aapki ruling hai chair ki ruling hai ki jo kuch sadan ke bahar kaha jayega uska sangyan nahi liya jayega parantu durbhagya hai कि हमारी चेयरपर्सन श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी ने इसी सदन के प्रमाइस में पार्लियामेंट्री पार्टी के मीटिंग में अपनी चिंता व्यक्त की थी जो आज देश की चिंता है कि किसी तरह से किसी तरह से न्यायपालिका को जिस तरीके से यह सरकार प्रयास कर रही है कि न्यायपालिका न्यायपालिका को प्रभावित किया जाए आपने जो की है वो नियमों के विरुद्ध है परंपराओं के विरुद्ध है और सीरियस मैटर से इसके विरुद्ध है ऑनरेबल तिवारी जी प्लीज 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 सेकंड दिस इज माई पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर दिस इज माई पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर बैठूंगा प्लीज प्लीज मैं भेज रहा हूं इसको ले लो भैया आई है बीट आई है बीट में ये किताब टू सिक्सटी सेवन नहीं है टू फिफ्टी छोड़िए कैन आई पेज नंबर ये भेज आई है बीट पेज नंबर आप पास है ना सर पेज नंबर इसमें दो तीन चार रूलिंग्स हैं और ये स्टैब्लिश परंपरा है एक बार की नहीं बार बार की परंपरा है कम से कम तीन या चार बार रूलिंग्स हैं आपकी चेयर द्वारा चेयर द्वारा 
कि जो बाहर कहा जाएगा सदन के बाहर और विशेष रूप से इसमें एक चीज और जोड़ दूं अगर वो दूसरे सदन का सदस्य है तो उसका संज्ञान नहीं लिया जा सकता ये तो सामान्य और मान्य परंपरा है तो मैं इस पर आपकी व्यवस्था चाहता हूं कि जो कुछ कहा गया अगर उस पर कुछ कहा है तो उसको हर हाल में क्लियरिटी होनी चाहिए निकाल देना चाहिए निकाल देना चाहिए बस मेरा इतना आपसे विनम्रता पूर्वक अनुरोध है पूरा सम्मान और मान प्रकट करते हुए आपके प्रति आदेश प्रकट करते हुए सर जो अभी तिवारी साहब ने आपत्ति जताई है ये रूल्स के मुताबिक है क्योंकि कोई एक सदस्य लोकसभा का सदस्य अगर बाहर कुछ कहता है तो राज्यसभा में उसकी चर्चा नहीं होती और खासकर चेयर अगर उस उस पर कमेंट करे ये सबसे दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है ऐसा कभी नहीं प्लीज, होता प्लीज, 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 अगर अगर मैं कभी पब्लिक भाषण में कुछ कहता हूँ मेरे पार्टी के ऑफिस में कुछ पोजिशन कैन द चेयरमैन Or anybody can take the cognizance of it. Therefore, there are several rulings he quoted, and they are against against this procedure. Therefore, sir, those whatever is said here, that should be removed, that should be withdrawn, and I humbly request you kindly expunge it. And it is not good in the interest of democracy. and this will become a precedent tomorrow i will speak something in bangalore if something if you comment our chair comments that is very bad therefore i request you sir kindly expunge that and create a new precedent that whatever is spoken outside it should not be taken and a member who is of other house about him you should not comment the very leader, unfortunate leader of the house leader of the opposition has raised in sublimity an issue confine your response i will that. only talk about that sir honorable chairman sir i wish the leader of the house would also reflect that a very high constitutional authority a person who represents the entire country a person who has been duly elected by the members of both houses of parliament holds the very august chair and is the honorable vice president of india it is very unfortunate that the honorable member of parliament even though she may be from the other house has chosen to cast aspersions on this very high office and therefore it was a very very appropriate that a response was given it is our bounden duty of the entire house to maintain the dignity of the chair to dignity to maintain the dignity of the high esteemed office constitutional office that is held by you sir and therefore i would urge the leader of the opposition to reflect whether the comments were made were in good taste whether the comments were appropriate whether the comments were called for at all in the first place whether in the house or out of the house i think it is for all of us also to reflect High constitutional authorities have to be respected. Please, please. Honourable Doctor Keshav. Casting as persons will not make the talk. This is about a simple proposal made. Anything spoken outside. Okay. Let us not make it controversial as far okay. as this house is concerned. Okay. The house is only concerned Thank about what happens within the house. Thank you, Doctor Keshav. Thank you, Doctor Keshav. Outside the house. Thank this you. Thank you. This has been the procedure. This has been the ruling. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor Keshav. Thank you. Honorable members, please. Honorable members. Yesterday was a day on which my attention was drawn to the statement that was in public domain imparted by the honorable chairperson of the UPA every member of the house either here or there 
is entitled to highest respect. From this chair, I cannot emanate any perception or reflection without being in highest order of care, caution, and decorum. I therefore sought the exact draft of it. After going through the draft, I gathered that the reflections imparted by me in my capacity as chairman of this August House on December 8 came for inappropriate reflections. I have honorable members diluted my stance to the maximum level. I would invite your attention to get your guidance and wisdom on what troubled me. My attention has been drawn to a statement imparted by the Honorable Chairperson of the UP on 21st December 2022 mentioning, I quote, and you'll appreciate, I could not have personally compromised my dignity more than I did in my subdued response. And what was said was, quote, a troubling new development is the calculated attempt underway to delegitimize the judiciary. That's her perception, I have nothing to say. That is in her domain, duly entitled. In public discourse, you may reflect on it. That is an issue that doesn't concern me. Ministers and even a high constitutional authority have been unlisted, mark the word, unlisted, to making speeches attacking the judiciary on various grounds and court. Honorable members, can your chairman be, would you please, would you please have patience to listen to me? I'll, can, can the chairman who, who, who said something, please, please. I, honorable members, I indicate to you, I will preserve to an extreme decorous degree what I say from this chair. This office cannot be allowed to be dragged on partisan stance. I cannot be unlisted. I assure the leader of the opposition I cannot be unlisted, please take your seat, Mr. Tarka. I cannot be unlisted either by them or by you to delegitimize judiciary. I suffered the allegation that I was part of a system to delegitimize judiciary, which means sounding a death knell of democracy. I was, once again, please, I, I, I was, I was, I, I was expecting, I was expecting the honorable members to appreciate my subdued response. Sri Jeev 